Hi, Tom from Flight Systems here. Today, we're going to take a look at how to measure the windings on your Onan QG4000 or Marquee Gold Generator that utilizes the 23-pin connector. The only thing you'll need for the job is a multimeter. This video is assuming that you already have access to the control board. If you don't yet, please take a look at one of our other videos to learn how to access your control board. Okay, let's take a look. All right, so here we are out at the RV, and we're gonna check the resistance on our windings of this generator. This is a QG4000. And I'm gonna use my meter probes, which are really fine needles. I'll be able to get into the connector just fine. If you don't have really fine tip meter probes, you're gonna to wanna to use a set of paper clips. If you use normal size meter probes and try to stick that right into the connector, you're gonna end up damaging the pins inside that connector and uh, that'll be a problem. That'll create lots of additional future problems there once you go to put it back together. So uh, if you don't have the fine ones, make sure you use the paper clips. If you got fine ones, you're good to go. All right, let's uh, take a closer look at this thing and uh, see how to identify those pins on that connector. All right, on this connector here, this is assuming you've already removed the control board or at least gotten it up far enough that you can get the connector off and released. Uh, on these connectors, the way to identify the pins or what pin number you're looking at, if you look at the edge of the black part of this housing here, you'll see numbers on there. This side says 1, 9, and 16, and the other side says 8, 15, and 23. That's your outer edge pins that are marked on there. So looking at this side here with the one there, that puts our pin number one right there. Now we're gonna set our meter for ohms at the lowest scale you can. If it's an auto ranging meter, you're good to go by just putting it on ohms. If you have a manual ranging meter, you're gonna wanna set it to your lowest scale, which is usually on 200 on most meters. All right, and the first set of pins we want to take a look at, pins 1 and 10. 1 and 10 is our field, and that's going to check the rotor, the slip rings, and the brushes all in one shot. So we've got pin 1 there. It doesn't matter which color you use. You can use black or red in either of these pins. doesn't matter. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Go back to the beginning again. 9 and then 10. And you'll see the reading that we're getting here is 54, which is a little high. This reading should be between 18 and 24 ohms on this generator. 18 to 24 is going to indicate that your rotor resistance is where it should be and also that your slip rings are clean, your brushes are in good condition. If you see an open circuit here, like you're not touching anything at all, like that, then you probably have a broken brush or something wrong with the rotor itself. That will require pulling the generator out of the coach to dismantle and investigate. Um, for this, 54 isn't very bad. Most likely that just friction from the engine running again will clean that up and get that right back to where it's supposed to be. The brush is kind of clean the rings as they run anyway, which is the reason why you should exercise your generator monthly uh, to keep those rings clean and the friction cleaning that surface. Uh, this 54, I'm not gonna worry about that. That will come down with running. Anything higher uh, or anything that doesn't come down after you've tried spinning the generator over a few times, you will need to pull the generator out and clean the rings manually. All right, our next set of pins that we wanna go to are nine and three, or three and nine, however you want to look at it. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right there. All right, and that is your quadrature winding or your auxiliary stator winding. Uh, that is where the regulator is getting its power to do its job. Uh, that reading can vary a little bit, but usually you'll find it between 2 to 4 ohms. This 5.2 is nothing to be concerned about. That's uh, still within some amount of tolerance there. But 2 to 4 is usually where you'll find that reading. 
Um, what you'll see if you have a, a problem on this, uh, you'll never see it lower. That would be a very unusual circumstance, but you can actually see it open. Once again, just like that, if it's OL or one open circuit, like you're not touching anything, uh, that would indicate a blown stator winding uh, or a blown auxiliary stator winding. And uh, that would require dismantling the generator. Once again, pulling the generator, dismantling it to replace that stator assembly. The last set of pins we want to look at are four and five. One, two, three, four. And five is right next to it here. You're going to get a reading that's somewhere between 0.3 and 0.5 usually. Um, that's a really low reading, so you have to take into account your meter leads might have some amount of resistance in them as well. Uh, you might see that like this as high as 1 ohm and it's still perfectly okay. Um, but 0.3 to 0.5 is the spec of where we're shooting for. Um, and this one I would consider okay. That is measuring your windings on the QG4000. Um, the Marquee Gold generators, the early model Marquee Gold generators use exactly the same connector and it's pinned exactly the same way. Well, that's how you measure the windings on a QG4000 and a Marquee Gold style generator using that 23 pin connector. All of the results that you get from these tests will tell you whether or not the generator is functional and, and working properly inside, all your windings are okay, and all of that. If everything comes out okay, chances are you just need a replacement control board. If that is the case, we proudly offer replacements here at Flight Systems for the 1413 style controls and the 5374 style control that's used in the Marquee Gold. Like all of Flight Systems products, they carry a two-year warranty and they're proudly made in the United States. If you need to order any of those components, you can do so at flightsystems.com or you can call 1-800-403-3728. Thanks for watching. I'm Tom from Flight Systems. It's easy to book RV tech support at flightsystems.com. Just hit the book now button, choose your date and time for the appointment, Hit next and enter a few simple details such as your name, your phone number, and your email address. It also helps to include a brief description of the problem and your generator's model number. Agree to the cancellation policy and hit the confirm button. Just review the info and hit finish. You're now one step closer to a working generator.